Hello, today we'll be talking about the Wakata sliding rail set. Let's open the box and see what's inside. There are two main parts, the sliding rail and the accessory kit. For installation, we will place the robotic arm on the plate with the extender box on the side. This is the cable to connect the limit switch on the bottom here to the extender box. This is the cable to connect the stepper motor and extender box. The optional foundation can be placed under here. Now, let's take a look at how to install the sliding rail and the robotic arm. Let's start with the robotic arm. We put the arm on the plate with a base interface facing the drag chain. We can use the M4 screws and the wrench to tighten them together. Next, we can place the extender box next to the robotic arm with a bracket fixed on the plate. We connect the cables as usual between the arm and the extender box. To control the sliding rail, we also need to connect the stepper motor and the limit switch to the extender box. We take the 4-pin to 3-pin connector, 4-pin to the limit switch, 3-pin to the extender box. We take the 6-pin to 4-pin connector, 6-pin to stepper motor, 4-pin to the extender box. Moreover, these are the cable clips to organize the cables. We can also place the stepper motor cable in the drag chain. For the optional foundation, we place them under the sliding rack. We can slide the nut on the side to the position that we want and tighten it with a screw. Lastly, we will connect the host computer and extender box. Before actual usage, we need to check some parameters. Once the robotic arm is connected, we send $$$ in the command. We want to check parameters of $$3 and $$23 as $3 equals 127 and $23 equals 56. If they are not the same, send $3 equals 127 and $23 equals 56 in the command. An OK will be returned indicating success. We can confirm by sending $$ again. Then we set the 7 axis to sliding rail in the settings. There are two ways to accomplish sliding rail homing operation. In the newest version of Wilcotta Studio, we are able to select the homing object to be robotic arm or slider. Or we can send $H7 in the command to realize the same operation. There are three ways to control the sliding rail. Teaching, Blockly, and Python. For teaching, we can change the accessory and accessory value to change the position of the sliding rail. For Blockly, the block to control sliding rail is under parts. It has two parameters, position and speed. For Python, we can double click slider move to to get the code. It also has two parameters, position and speed. That's all for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out the other ones on our channel.